Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at conventions and specifically what we're going to do is we're going to look at this short piece of writing here and find some ways that we can improve the conventions of this piece. Now what would be included in conventions? Here we're going to be talking about grammar, punctuation, spelling, capitalization, and any other minor detail that needs to be corrected throughout the writing. Our goal for every piece of writing would be to cre create a piece that is absolutely perfect at the end. Now, why would we need to create perfect conventions in a piece of writing? Why is that important? Well, there are a couple of major problems that happen to writers if they have problems in their conventions. One is that a reader can actually not understand you sometimes if you have mistakes in the writing. The second one is that the reader may think that you are less intelligent than you are as a person because of mistakes that are in the writing. And a third problem that can happen is that the reader can be so distracted by the errors that the reader won't even be able to read the writing in the first place. All of these clearly are detracting from this great message that you have that you want to get across to your reader and so therefore we want to make sure that we're always correcting conventions throughout a piece of writing. Now what you have here is you're looking at a short little paragraph here that would normally go into an essay and what we're looking at here is a piece of writing that clearly has a lot of mistakes. We know it has a lot of mistakes because it's been written in Microsoft Word and the red squiggly buttons here, the red squiggly lines that are underneath of words tell us where some of the mistakes are. Interestingly, it does not tell us where all of the mistakes are. So some of these we're going to have to find on their own. Now you may look at this piece of writing and you may say, well this is impossible. No one would ever turn in a piece of writing like that. No one would ever use a piece of writing like that to try to communicate with another person. This actually is not the case. If you go on to Craigslist on any given day and you take a look at some of the advertisements and some of the postings that are up on Craigslist, you'll see that people write in this manner pretty frequently. And we're talking about adults here. Also, if you go onto Facebook, you'll see that there's also this kind of sloppy slang style of writing that's used. And unfortunately, in schools every day, teachers are receiving this style of writing, either if it's in emails or if it's in essays or if it's in short answers coming in from students. So what's really important for people to understand is that conventions absolutely have to be corrected. You want to make sure that you're understood and you want to make sure that you're giving the best representation of yourself possible so that you look good to your reader. All right, so let's take a look at this piece of writing here. It starts off with, we're just going to take this one sentence at a time. Have you ever thought about where your food comes from? Okay, so we're starting off with a a question here and the first thing that I would recommend to this student is to indent the paragraph. Paragraph should be indented. Have should have an E at the end. U is a letter. Y-O-U is a word. Okay. Ever is spelled incorrectly so we're going to change that spelling. Thought is spelled incorrectly so we're going to change that as well. And again your U R is not a word. It's slang and it is sometimes used in texting and that sort of thing but not correct for our writing so we're going to get rid of it. Okay let's take a look at the second sentence here. Have you ever thought about what is in it? Okay so we've got a couple of different problems here. Our sentence starts off with have which is spelled incorrectly so we're going to add that E at the end. Notice that the U is not underlined so spell check is not coming up with all of our problems that need to be corrected. We need to come up with those on our own so we're going to change that to you. Have you ever thought, we have a new spelling of the word thought, but again it's correct, about what is in it. Now here we have a problem at the end. We have an exclamation mark, but clearly this is a question. It's not an exclamation, so we're going to change that to having the question mark at the end. Also at the end we only want to have two spaces, not three or four. Next sentence, our, our food comes from far, frams, not, but not their, the fram farms you're looking of. It's not a farm with nice cows and rolling hills and beautiful sunsets. No, your food comes from a factory farm where animals are stuffed into dirty cages 
vegetable are genetically modified and the atmosphere is all about violence and cruelty. Okay, so we have a very long run-on sentence that is just about impossible to read because there are so many mistakes in it. So let's go ahead and start correcting this. So we're going to start off with our. Our food comes from, and it should be farms, not frams. So let's correct our spelling there from farms. But not, and here is just a typo, right? The R and the E are right next to each other, an easy mistake to make, but still it's a mistake, still it should be corrected. But not the farms, you are and then it says your, which is not a word. We want to change that to you are thinking of. And we should end our sentence here. That's a logical place to end the sentence. It's the, complete, the conclusion of this thought. We can continue on with some more of this information and have a more extended sentence, a compound sentence, or a compound complex sentence. But for our purposes here, I'm going to go ahead and end off. And therefore, I'm going to have to capitalize for the beginning of the next sentence here. We're looking for two words. It is not a farm. Let's correct the spelling. With nice cows and not rolling hills, but rolling. Rolling hills and beautiful. Let's spell beautiful correctly. Beautiful sunsets. All right, now we're going to combine two sentences. We're going to do that with the semicolon, which is one of our punctuation marks that we can use to combine two completely separate sentences here. No, your food comes from a factory farm. So let's add in some corrections here to our spelling. A factory farm where animals, we need to spell animals correctly. Where animals are is a nice letter, but not a word. So we want to make it into a word, A-R-E, are stuffed into dirty cages, comma. We have a series coming up here. Vegetables, oops. Vegetables are genetically, and I think they're going for genetically modified. And the atmosphere, which needs to be spelled correctly, is, IZ looks cool, but is incorrect, so we're going to change that, is all about, notice that about, a but, the word here is a correct word, but spell check is not picking that up, so we need to have enough understanding of conventions to be able to correct that on our own. It's all about violence and cruelty. Period. And sentences end with periods. Okay, now we have a paragraph that actually makes sense. Great. So let's take a look at our next little section here. We've got a sentence that just kind of goes on and on. So let's tab that in and make it into its own little paragraph. Okay, we don't have to eat this way. Okay, we can do a short sentence here as the introduction. That's just fine. Okay. We can eat natural, healthy, okay, so single comma in between two adjectives that are describing the noun coming up. And let's get some correct spelling in there. Some natural, healthy food from local farmers, need to be spelled right, who don't torture animals. This person uses some really strong words in here. That can make for strong writing. Animals and who care about the people who eat the food. So lots and lots of mistakes, small things that may seem like they're not that big of a deal, but when you put a lot of small things together, they create a pretty big problem. Okay, next sentence here, we're going to end off with a period. We're going to start our next sentence with a capital letter. 
Okay, start buying. So we're going to change that to buying. So start buying your food at the, not framers, but farmers. Oops. And instead of the abbreviation, let's use market. Start buying your food at the farmers market. And straight, str8 looks cool, but isn't spelled correctly. So let's fix that. I want to make sure that our reader can understand us. And straight from the farmers. Okay, comma, because I see that we are coming up to a compound sentence here. And you will have so many little mistakes. Little stuff adds up. Little stuff adds up, makes the writer look bad, and makes the writing very difficult to understand. Healthier food to eat, plus you won you oh you won't sorry took me a second there you won't be buying from someone someone who that should be who who is local and that helps the local economy. Oh, it sure does. So let, but let's spell it right. There we go. And we'll end off with a period. So our second paragraph now reads, we don't have to eat this way. We can eat, oh, it should be natural. See these little mistakes? Sometimes it just takes a couple times through to be able to correct all of those totally normal. We can eat natural healthy food from local farmers who don't torture animals and who care about the people who eat the food. Start buying your food at the farmers market and straight from the farmers and you will have healthier food to eat. Plus you won't be buying from someone who is you should be probably will be buying from someone who is local and that helps the local economy. So we've got lots of great information here but none of that information would really have gotten through to the reader because there were so many mistakes in there that it was just impossible to read. Okay, now we've got a really nice piece of writing. The mistakes are out of there. We may probably want to go through this another time and do a little bit more on the corrections, but what we've got is a good start here. Make sure when you do your editing on your own writing that you're always checking for conventions. Make sure that you're um, looking for all of those little details, spelling, grammar, punctuation, capitalization, all of those are important. They add up to a lot. I hope this is helpful to your writing and good luck to you.